Hello guys and welcome to my new video. Today I'm here to talk about the breaking point. I imagine you found yourself at some point not knowing where to break and experiencing. And breaking points are one of the most important things because uh, one meter or two can make a lot of difference in, in the ultimate lifetime you can achieve. In some cases you break alpha car length after you are supposed to break and you lose tons of time. So today in this video I'll show three situations with the 911R, which is like a road car situation. Then I'll drive the Mercedes AMG GT3 to show like a GT3 situation with ABS and stuff. And then I'll show the new Ferrari F2004, that iconic car that you can break way later than you think in some cases. And you don't have ABS so you need to play with that so the ultimate breaking point needs to be perfect otherwise you enter the corner slow or you just lock the brakes and and you can't do the corner so let's jump into the 911R at Nürburgring and see what we can do so with the 911R or a street car in Nürburgring we'll break at the 150 meter mark like in the image, you will right in the 150 mark. And that should, with a good downshift, you can enter the corner at just the right amount of speed. And you can see you can enter a smooth. Then you can see that if we break a bit earlier, the entry speed in here at this point is around 10 km an hour slower. It may not look like it, but we are losing 10 km an hour in that entry point by breaking like a car length before. Just a car length before and this entry speed at this point is around 72 here and 80 in the other part. And then if you break like a car length too late you just can't make the corner at all. The car starts. You can see that we totally uh, failed to break. Now we enter a different situation, which is the AMG GT3 at Red Bull Ring. The first corner, that is the one that we will show, is a corner that you need, you need to maintain the momentum. But this is a corner that you have the curves in the exit, you have the curves on the inside, so it's a corner that the right amount of braking and braking at the uh, correct points will shoot you to the next straight in a way that it feels good. <laughs> so, um, in this corner we have two... Uh, we have the distance board and we have like a orange thing that we have as a reference for, for GT3 cars. With almost every GT3 car you can break them. So let's uh, have a look in how it looks breaking at this correct point breaking earlier and breaking light. So now we'll see our breaking point for GT3 cars. We can see it here, we have the orange and the meter, you break just on them. And then you can see braking there, you have the car is stable and you can power onto the straight without any problem. And that braking park point works for a lot of cars, you can brake there safely with a lot of cars. And this corner is very important to keep the speed, so you can see now if you break a bit earlier. You can see that that one car length before, it used, you are stopped way before the apex and e instead of entering the corner at like 100 km an hour, you are entering at 80 and that will compromise the whole straight. You can see that the car just looks slow. And now, if you break a bit too late, you just fail completely. And we are talking alpha car length to a car length and we fail completely to do the corner. You can see it's just a little bit and we are done. So the Ferrari F2004. This thing you really need to be prepared for it because the braking and the acceleration is completely different to any other car that you can drive. You can brake 50 meters or more later in corners that you usually brake with GT3 cars. And I'll show the first corner because the first corner you can lose or gain a lot of time. 
and breaking at the right point and doing this chicane at the right speed is crucial to shoot you to the complete lap and uh, improving your lap is the most important thing is the first chicane so let's have a look at the three situations again trying to do a good run a slow run and a fast run to see what we so in this car we will break at the 100 meter bar but with GT3 cars we usually break at this point at the 150 but this car <laughs> you can break almost 50 meters later around in this area and that should do to make the corner proper you can see now uh, how it is in breaking at that point you can see that the car is stable and you can power on easily and not locking the brakes is the most important thing. You can see that we hit 100% brakes at some point and then we modulate the brakes. Now, braking early. Again, it may not look like it, but we are a lot slower in the entry point. It looks safer, but uh, it is a lot slower. In especially this corner, you lose a lot of time. And if you look at the delta, trying yourself, you can see that uh, doing different ways, it just is completely different. And now if we are brave and break too late, this happens and you run off and you hit someone that is going the normal way and that is not not good. You can see here, we break a bit late like a car lent after and break slow because we can't stop in time and our lap is ruined or our race or whatever is ruined. So to conclude we can see that uh, slightly different distances make lots of difference in what the lap time will be just because of that alpha car that you break later you miss the corner just that alpha car that you break a bit earlier it may uh, your lap time will be slower just because of that small bit so the ultimate thing is to try to perfect your braking point with ABS cars you just need to find that point that you break 100% or 80, 80 to 100% and the car to the cor does the corner the proper way not sliding, not understeering and then you just perfect that distance and you break there every time and try your best at that point so I know my videos are not the best and I'm trying to improve them to help you guys achieve a better lap time and uh, learning by yourself is good but having that little bit of help uh, always makes the learning curve a bit faster so i hope you enjoyed and see you next time bye bye